How's it going people? Stevie here with another batch of videos for you. The next three videos are going to be focusing mostly on any other articles, I should say, that was be, was being found on the internet. And this is what we found ourselves, not given to us from sources. Um, so these are mostly focused outside of Western countries. So this first one is going to be, you know, we're going back into Africa again, South Africa. And then the, the one after will probably be in Brazil. And the one after that will be in Croatia, uh, where Kim and her fake trust, the Manor World Holding Trust has been mentioned in on the internet in pages of, uh, I would say documents, but mostly to do with news online uh, newspapers. But today we're going to focus on the VBS Mutual Bank, which back in 2018 apparently was being uh, liquidized because of the loss of funding and well, keeping afloat. And this newspaper called um, Limpopo Mirror is a popular paper out there where they go into, they've, I'll put the links in the descript, description um, for all that I show you in the video today, where you can see, um, read it in your own time. I'm, I'm just going to show you some highlights of it. So let's get into it. So this, these chaps here, this is a news conference that was, I think it was in 2019, oh, I think it was, where this guy, I think on the left, um, Enoch Ratalabala, um, he's part of a group called Africa, um, Pacity, which are a forum of people getting together to try and save the VBS bank. Um, and you've also got some uh, other members of the same group that are involved and also I think it's the, um, the stakeholder as well. So what we're going to talk about today is the VBS as the article says, was the VBS minority champion victim or scam of a scam. So let's read a little bit. I've highlighted some of the bits, which I think are key, but let's just start off from the top. Um, a company claiming to represent the minority share, shareholders of VBS Mutual Bank is fighting to have the liquidation of its bank reversed. The company also wants the SA South African Reserve Bank to release the $825 million they believe was paid to them that was embarked for development projects in South Africa. Earlier this month, a group calling themselves VBS Shareholders Forum held a press conference in, I'm gonna kill this name, <laughs> In Thoya Yandu, the group stated that in July 2018, he had managed, oh, it had a mandated Africa Capacity Investment Group to rescue, commercialize, and recapitalize VBS Mutual Bank. A legal team was, uh, was apparently tasked to investigate and evaluate the facts surrounding VBS saga. One of the findings of Africa Capacity's team, class team, was the VBS Mutual Bank had no opportunity to defend itself in the proceedings to appoint a curator. And the step taken was thus irregular. They alleged that the report entitled VBS Mutual, the Great Bank Host, compiled by Worksman attorneys on instruction of the curator was 
a concocted story which needs to be investigated. Now, I, I looked this up, wherever this the great bank heist is. And I found this. And it looks like there's a lot of scams and fraud going on around this bank, VBS Mutual Bank. I mean, I'm going to read 148 pages of this. Um, but I'll put the link in there. If you, <laughs> you're free to do so. But the, the way this report was put together. Um, the, so the... The person that put the, the report together, he said, I have for the past five months investigated the sorry affairs of VBS Mutual Bank. My report will reveal that the perpetrators of the heat heist at a VBS made away with almost two billion rand. And they certainly did not put anything like the hard work and effort of Mr. Nightingale and his team. I trust that this case arrest will be made. So if you want to read that, I'll stick that in the description. So continuing with this article, who is Afro, Afro capacity? Okay. Uh, one of the questions that popped up in the press conference was scheduled is who exactly is Afro capacity investment group and or is and what mandate it holds. The records of the Companies and Intellectual Property Commission show the company was registered in 2009 and has two active directors. The company was in the process of deregistration but become active again in 2017. The registered address is in Rodenbosch, Cape Town. The company's chief investment officer, Inuk Ratladbala, was quick to answer email questions and said that it was a 100% black woman owned company with a majority shareholding and investment coming from overseas. I'll skip down a little bit. This is about the billions of dollars investment. A letter addressed to Reserve Bank Governor in August 2018, Ratlabala states that the company has gone out to China and America seeking investment and has secured more than 50 billion for infrastructure development. So who are the investors? When Ratlabala was questioned as to who the investors were, and where their motives were, he did not want to disclose details. This is a private agreement between us and them. It is confidential, he said. These are loans to our company, not to the public government institutions. In documents provided during the press conference, two organizations that facilitated the funds are mentioned, namely Manor World Holdings, Sovereign Trust, and Shanghai Pudong Development Bank. There you go, Manor World Holdings. A quick search on the internet revealed that both these institutions have checkered reputations. In January 2018, Shanghai Pudong Development Bank was fined 72 million for illegal lending activities. Saab does not does not have Manor's permission to regulate. Okay, so Manor World Holdings Sovereign Trust is apparently some sort of cult movement believing in New World Order where money does not fall under the control of governments. No, on one website, the Kingdom of Manor Trust is described as the keeper of the collateral account for all nations after many attempts by manner to release funds to nations and being blocked by the elites and corrupt governments. The Kingdom of Manor has been established to free up nations to give back sovereignty to all. The leaders are apparently a certain Kimberly Ann Gogurn, Terence Cameron MacDonald, a self-professed priest, and Louis E. Taylor, a self-possessed, possessed, yeah, uh, philanthropist. 
in the effort to prove that the South African Reserve Bank does not have the authority to irregulate banking industry, Africa Capacity distributed a letter supposedly written and signed by Manners Acting Head of State, Kimberly Anko Guen. In a letter, she claimed that SAAB, the South African um, Reserve Bank, is a corporation owned wholly by the Manor World Holding Trust. She then uh, proceeds to give it back to the people of the country. Manor World Holding Trust recognises only royal monarchs of South Africa to be tribal kings as appointed by the people, she states. Now remember, this is around the time the Manor World Holding Trust, um, Kim used the Kingdom of Manor with Jesper Ellerman. If you are new to our videos, then you need to look at the um, Associates videos and also the FMCA code ones. And the final bit of this article is, have you been scammed? As a final question, Rata, Rata Bala was asked whether the company um, that he represents has, that has not become the victim on an elaborate international scam. We have come across, this is what he said, we have come across the same questions before from different stakeholders. We have done our own due diligence on our financial partners. The local banking institutes that were involved have also done due diligence on our guarantees and they are satisfied. <laughs> so the, I mean, this is how crazy this company is. Due diligence on the manual and trust. They don't even have their own business name, you know, registered business. They don't have their own website. Well, I suppose they got, they had at the time, the Kingdom of Manor. But anyway, this article was April 22nd, 2019. And we found another one, which was in May 2021. So they've kind of done a recap on this and found that, you know, this has echoes of the sex Wales investment. Some uh, A billionaire, South African billionaire called uh, Tokyo Sex Wales was... Um, also fell for a, a similar kind of scam as we look into it now. So they say the past week's conversations were dominated by a few topics. That one that kept on coming to the fore, to the fore was internet scams. When former Gutong Premier Tokyo Swells accused the South African Reserve Bank of holding on to hundreds of millions of dollars meant for development, he was told that he was a victim of a scam. Sexwell's claims, however, are very similar to those of a group who wanted to buy the embattled VBS bank two years ago, talking about the Manor World Holding Trust and the also the, the Chinese representatives that wanted to, in, to purchase. This sounds familiar. In April 2019, Lynn Popper Mirror reported on a company called Africa Capacity plans to buy the about to be liquidated, liquidated VBS Mutual Bank, the company which claimed to represent the, mi the minority shareholders of the bank, wanted to negotiate a deal with the liquidator, but no one seemed to believe that the company had money for such a transaction because they couldn't do any they couldn't prove the funds that's basically it Let's scroll down a bit much like the tokyo swells is currently doing ratlabla accused the saab of thwarting development and denying the citizen opportunities the delay in release of the of the money has already impacted on housing electricity and water projects he writes um, he writes and then mentions various local municipalities that should have benefited. He also argues that the money could have been averted many of the service delivery protests that at the time were crippling the country. So scrolling down a little bit. 
Exact details of the anonymous funders were not disclosed to the media, but the letters written to the Saab indicated that the deposits were facilitated by a group calling themselves Manor World Holding Trust. I won't, because this is, a lot of this is repeating what was in the other article. Uh, interestingly enough, the name Manor also pops up in a warning issued by the Bank of International Settlement, BIS. The bank also featured in part of the sex well, uh, sex well claims and is used as proof that the transactions are legitimate in a section titled fraudulent schemes, says BIS. So this Tokyo Six Well, when he was scammed and being made a fool out of by a trust, which I'll go into in a minute, um, the Manor World Holding Trust was also mentioned in that documentation of course i can't i haven't got it but it looks like these reporters have, have seen it and i wouldn't mind at some point maybe i could email them and say if you got copies i would like a copy of it probably highland light they're going to hand over to us there's another bit at the bottom here it says um the bis also mentions manor projects by name but whether the reference is the same manner world holdings that interacted with Africa capacity remains uncertain. The BIS has received reports of scams intended by letters from an institution called Manor Projects Consultant SDN BHD in respect to the socio economic development initiative program. Please be aware the BS is, is not in any way associated with Manor Projects Consultant SDNBHD and the BIS is not familiar with and has not approved or supported the SEDI program referring to those letters. Kim uses the BIS in all of her documentation and they are saying basically um, Manor projects, if it's the same, it sounds like it is, um, have nothing to do with it. I mean, they don't even have anything to do with Manor World Holding Trust. But then Kim keeps changing the name of the trust to try and cover her tracks because it's got a bad name for itself. Again, how many times have we proven that, you know, whatever she's doing, she's trying what other people have tried to do is scam governments and third world countries thinking they're not going to do proper due diligence but it's clearly showed that this Africa capacity have not done their homework or they're part of the scam so, so I did a little bit of looking up Tokyo sex well it says here it was scammed there's no looted fund says Tito Mabawini this guy Mabawini apparently is um, something to do with the central bank so let's look in here. It says, Mr. Tokyo Sexwell statement about stolen money is untrue. And it seems that he was it was a victim that many scams of, of many scams around. You cannot steal transmitted money from the central bank. How? His statement on television was untrue. It was unfortunate. So it was unfortunate. We will uh, sorry, we'll, re we'll reach out to him, he said. So because he's a, a billionaire, you know, they're pals, they understand each other. So he's probably got his phone number on hot dial. Another, another one here. So we find out what this trust is now. In business with the White Spiritual Boy Trust. So here he is, sex, well, at a FIFA Congress in Switzerland, 2016. It's a picture of him. Right, so I'll read of this. Of all the things you could have imagined reading about this week, did you think it would be untrue? It would, in sorry, it would include a story about billionaire businessman Tokyo Sexwell buying into conspiracy theory called the White Spiritual Boy Trust. It is a scam so far fetched that even U.S. right wing QAnons, QAnons. 
Q honor <laughs> Q honor us the, the conspiracy theorists who believe former US President Donald Trump is a superhero fighting to save the world from secret satanic overlords rejected it. So Q anons rejected this trust, which in due time they will do the same to Manor World Holding Trust because we all know it's all bullshit. Right, six well on Sunday night during an interview with JJ Taba Tabane on the show Power Power to Truth on the E C so E N C A made a surprise allegation that there was a heritage fund set up to fund free education and the COVID nineteen relief effort. He added that the money had been stolen. A little bit here says the money would. Uh, allegedly have come from the white spiritual boy trust mm. there's a little bit bit down the bottom about it this trust having quadrillion us dollars you know we've we've gone through all this that i've there's so many of these trusts that's just absolute bullshit so i had a little bit more digging around and there was this on some other website of course it's a fake called the five star trust again they're all linked to mana they're all linked to to kim you know they're using these swift codes that don't exist and the white spiritual boy apparently they've got these are the list of bank accounts around the world that they've got <laughs> how many zeros are in that us dollars come on <laughs> sitting in the Bank of America. I mean, look, look at them all. Look, goes on and on and on. I mean, there's hundreds of bank accounts. Look, Bank of Philippines, City Bank of Philippines. Nearly every bank in the world. Hundreds. There you go. Look, Friday thirteenth. <laughs> <laughs> for all dates will be advised the above assets and accounts are under the assets of five star trust marion horn executive trustee sole signature of the account master account there you go and there you go she gives, whoever that person is gives their little passport oh goodness me so what else did i find on the net Oh, look who we got. Neil Keenan. Neil Keenan. White spiritual boy bank account. Yeah, he used to poke his nose in it. Apparently this, back in 2017, this um, white spiritual boy trust um, was getting a lot of uh, publicity. And he, of course, he had to poke his nose in to say, it's not true. Only my class. I'm M, which I guess you know the M probably is Marduk that Kim thinks that she defeated or whatever. Um, go on about this white spiritual boy. Only the collateral counts that, of course, remember Neil Keenan was in Cosmic Voice. He was also in that Cosmic Voice group. Was Kim, Kim as, um. As an alias, and you've also got Thomas Williams who was in there. In the, in, and they're all promoting Neil Keenan, and it was all in there, kind of like basically kissing his ass. And all of a sudden, they leave and they start putting their own bullshit out of the trust. So, um, so this is what I found on he got clicked on this here, and this is. What Neil Keenan put out, it does mention the white spiritual. This is basically the same list of accounts, but he has to highlight stuff in here. And he like, oh, look, you know, Red Dragon family own this. And he's talking about, I don't know, he's highlighted a few. I, I just, it's just utter crap. I can't be bothered to read it, but it is, it's just utter crap. There you go, look. Her Majesty Queen Alexander Elizabeth Mary Windsor the Second. I mean, it's just madness how people can believe any of this crap. This is the Committee of Three Hundred, yeah. 
This is where it's from. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying that the Committee of 300 doesn't exist. All I'm saying is that these scammers, low level scammers, and they are, are fooling people. And Kim is doing it. Remember, she, I said the, um, I should have mentioned the name, was Christy Adams was the alias that she used in Cosmic Voice. And, you know, I'll cover that again at some point. But that's going to be it for this video. Um, so I'll put the links in the description field. Appreciate if you could um, like and, of course, comment. I'd like to see your comments and also if you've got any Think you want to add that maybe you know more information about this than us and please share with us and yeah please please share with with people who would like to get that information out and of course subscribe take care everyone bye bye mm -hmm.